Oh, look at that. <laughs> nice. That's a tricky one. More BC adventures as, as we, we continue, continue to, to Cache Canada. Canada. This is Victoria. This is Vancouver Island. Suspicious piece of wood with a cache hiding in it. We knew this would be a cool spit to drive down and it would have some great caches, but we didn't expect this. This is the cool thing about geocaching and the great places it takes you and the cool things it shows you along the way. Hello, Rocky. Next, we're gonna go get a 4-1 virtual. Yeah, it's right here at another castle in Southern Vancouver Island. And there are only 18 4-1 virtuals worldwide. Worldwide? Yeah. Wow, how many are in Canada? Only one. This, this is, is it? it, that's right. But... How many stages are there? 11. Ooh. That's what makes it a 4-1. So we're gonna go check the, all the stages out, see what we can get. It's prickly. You can hear it sticking on my mittens. Hatley Park takes up 565 oceanfront acres of beautiful woodlands, streams, rivers, and ponds, as well as much open land and looks across the waters towards the beautiful state of Washington. In 1908, construction began on James and Laura Dunsmere's retirement home. By request, the exterior was to look like a medieval castle. In just 18 months, on May 1st, 1910, the Dunsmuirs officially moved in to Hatley Castle, then the largest private residence on the West Coast. The Dunsmuirs owned Craig de Rock Castle as well, which we featured in a previous episode. If you've seen the X-Men series of movies, then Hatley Castle just might be familiar. The exterior was used for Dr. Xavier's school for gifted youngsters. Many other films have been shot there too, making Hatley Castle one of the top 10 movie locations to travel to. Yes. 
at this stage of the virtual. You take a picture with the castle and the sign in the background. Yep, that's mandatory. Just like the Lieutenant Governor's residence, this offers a beautiful chance to walk the grounds and see some beautiful landscapes and just enjoy nature and what man and nature have created together. So we got all the answers for the virtual, so we're sending those away, and that'll make the 37th square towards a full fizzy of virtuals. So we're looking forward to completing that. It's one more thing we're working on besides the earth cache fizzy. But now we're on the search for the third oldest cache placed on Vancouver Island. I think it's that three three pronged tree right there. Nope, it's just a stick. Just a stick. Just a stick. Darn it all. Just a stick. Oh, look. Oh. Suspicious pile of sticks. Good job. Some dinosaur stickers, and I think that's a chocolate. Is that a chocolate? Ew, that's, that's gross. gross. We shall get rid of this, but it not by it tasting it. It attacks critters. Yeah, putting chocolate and food items, scented items, in geocaches. No, 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 no. That's a no, no. Bears like that stuff. Yeah. Wow, that's pretty cool. Third oldest geocache. Yeah on Vancouver Island. We're going to have to research what the oldest and the second oldest is. Third oldest, and we got it. We got it. We got it. So thanks for joining us on this episode. Don't forget to join in on One Minute Wednesday for another BC One Minute, and the Saturday after that for more adventure here in BC. Keep watching. There's more caches to be found. Where will geocaching take you? <laughs>